higher one. So we're going to create a responsive newsletter. So this will be the example. So we're going to do this. So I'm expecting this is an advanced tutorial. So please have Sublime Text installed, which is here. I have my Sublime Text. Go to no HTML. It's fine. HTML. Right in there. Um, and have Emmet installed. And then you can do that. And then we'll call this emailer. We have style. Style. We have all the style in here. And let's start making it. So, first, we're going to create an email background. I type so fast. Just kidding. Um, next, we're going to create an email container. And then we're going to create header text. And then we're going to create a link. And then we're going to create an image. And then we're going to play placeholder ink. It's the URL is uh, HTTP colon slash slash placehold dot it slash six hundred times four hundred. So we'll make this. So our end goal is this. Okay, let's close this. Um, let's say this in cost emailer dot html. Bam, it's in here. So yeah, and then we're gonna preview it. Right click, open in browser. This is what it has right now. This is it. No clicking. See? This is what it has. So, okay. Do that. And next, we're gonna create a paragraph. Lorem. Bam, Lorem. And then we're gonna have. I should have it next to. Yeah, so like that. You can see it. Next, we're going to create a CTA. It's a button. And then it will be click here. And finally, we're going to have a footer. It's dot footer because I'm making classes. And then I'm gonna create two links. Let's call this my address. And then pipe. A again. Unsubscribe. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Bam. And it's gonna be two links down here. Three links. Alright, the fun part. I'm gonna start style. Okay, first it will be email background. Very convenient. Background color. Background color will be not background color. It will be e e e e e. Sorry. Padding would be ten. So what's padding? Padding is the internal space. The internal space. So I give it ten all around. Ten pixels. Next, will be I'm gonna target the email container. So convenient. I'm gonna target, and then the max width. This is where the magic is for responsive. This part, the max width, that makes it responsive. And we're also gonna do that for image later. But let me finish. Now the color is FFF, font family is sans serif, kind of like sans serif, margin is going to be zero auto, um, that will send it to everything, and overflow will be hidden. And next will be border radius. This mix gives it the nice little curve at the end of the edge. You'll see. See? The nice little curvature at the end. 
nice. And it's really looking really good. And pretty much it already. Um, and text align center. So you want text aligned center. See, it's all centered. And. Then next, I'm gonna do image max. This is also gonna be 100%. This will make a responsive watch. Now it shrinks. I'm gonna comment this out, and it's not gonna be responsive anymore. I'm also gonna comment this out, and it's not gonna be responsive anymore. See, and then we refresh. It's not. Watch. See, it's just not responsive. And we uncomment these out. So it'll be control, comma, control, comma. And the responsive. Again, refresh. And here we are. See, this is done. It's really looking really good. Next, we're going to create it's a link tag. We're gonna have this color. Nice. Okay, next, we're gonna do the paragraph. So, margin is gonna be 20 pics. Font size, 18 pics. Font weight, many options. 300 color 666 line height 1.5 see what it looks like not bad all right next we're going to CTA the this button call to action so I'll give it a margin of 20 picks next we're going to do CTA a a. Okay. It's gonna be text decoration. None. See, it's gone. Display inline block. Totally gone. And then background this color as a blue and then the color is gonna be FFF which is white and that's a pixel color padding I'm gonna play with it so 10 picks 20 picks 15 picks all right this how does the spacing work um, I think it's top, right, bottom. Let's go to the schools and then go over. It's like a clock. So it's top, right, bottom, left. Top, right, bottom, left. It's like a clock. I think it was a clock. So yeah, it's just top and bottom. It tells you in the documentation with those schools. It's very helpful. And then that's padding. There we go, that's my button. And we'll do a border radius to get, give it round edges. Unless you want square edges, that's okay, fine, but I want round edges because I'm, I'm a very round edgy guy. Five picks. Nice. Okay. Uh, do I have to give it. Ah, uh, jeez, I really want to give it a border. Let's give it a border. Solid, uh, one picks, what color? Um, gray.
grays. I think EEE, -E -E. that works too. There we go. Uh, not really, I think I'm gonna remove it. But if you want a border for it, then yeah, but I don't have time to fix the color up right now. I want to stand out. But right now it looks fine. This is a call to action button. And then we can work at the footer. Uh, footer. Footer. And let's give it background none, none, padding. Hope you guys see all this on this screen, on this side. It's really small, sorry. 20 picks. And font size of 20, 10 picks. And padding, no. Text align. Center there. There we go. It's done. Look bigger, but okay. Yeah, done. This is yeah, this is the header. Let's see, that's pretty good to me. We should make a five hundred. Five hundred. Because this is a five. Yeah, it's totally fine. That's great. Um, I might have the source under, but I really don't want to. So if you don't like the text, like in the center, you can go put the P tag and you go text align left. There you go. Um, if you don't want it like centered, it's really up to you. But I prefer it centered. So it looks pretty good right now already. It looks very se sexy. Um, for a dummy, and then um, after you're done with this, you're gonna need to go to uh, inline CSS Mailchimp. Yeah, inline it. So basically, you're gonna have to inline all your your CSS. So let's look at inline CSS. I think it's style. Oh, that's how you do it. You just like type in style. So basically, I copy and paste it for every place. So it's like style equals, and then you just copy and paste the style from here and put it in there. But uh, they do it for you here. So let's copy and paste it. <sighs> copy and paste. See, they do it for you. So we're going to copy and paste it. And boom, it's done. So we're going to create a new. Then we're gonna call this. That's fine. See, it's written in line. So basically, it just grabbed this and just put it in a style and then just put it all in here. That's style. Whatever this is called. This thing. <laughs> this uh, inline style thing. Whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called or not. It's not my head. My brain's not working. So yeah, that's how you do it. And um, I'm missing something because I didn't do prefixes. Because like not all browsers support everything, but I'm assuming everyone's using Chrome is totally fine. So I think I have an auto prefix. So I'm gonna copy and paste. Copy. Create new file. Save as style.css. Um, What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean?
Let's look for a precursor. Like something like this, but I remember I made a video about it. I guess I want need need it for these styles. Oh, okay. I'll be there for just a couple minutes. Yeah. This one's fine. No, they don't need it. Totally fine. It's totally fine. I don't need it. So, the styles are totally fine. Because this is an auto prefixer already. So, the styles are totally fine. That's how you check. So, it's in all these styles are going to be compatible to everything. So, so, you would just copy and paste this into your email. And then make sure it's um, HTML and not plain text, the email, so it goes through. And I would host the images outside, like photo bucket. So this is just a placeholder. So don't host your images here. It can be like anything. You can go grab an image. Go Google images slash images. Uh, basketball or something. And then you click more tools. This is right. You want want this so you can like modify these. Like this can be modified or reused, like for so it's legal. These images are legal to use. See this? Not commercial reuse. Stuff like that. So you can reuse these, and you'll get in trouble for copyright. So yeah, um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and see you guys next time, and uh, keep on hacking, because uh, without web developers, there would be no internet. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.